Hey guys, what's going on? Michael White here, your favorite self-taught developer. And finally, after months of grinding, coding, busting my ass, sacrificing weekends, sacrificing time with loved ones, I have finally done it. I transitioned to a front-end web developer. Let's go! <laughs> But seriously, I actually received an awesome job offer at an amazing company and obviously I'm stoked to get it. I'm stoked to take it. So I figured what better way to celebrate the occasion than to go back to where it all began. To go back to that very first video I made on this channel six months ago. And just see how my mindset back then compares to my mindset now. Now to set the time frame a little bit for you guys, I started coding nine months ago ish from today so it's currently july 1st i started coding like in october like early to mid october the first video i made on this channel i recorded in early november but i was really hesitant to like upload it to youtube and put it out there for the internet i fought i fought with putting it out for about a month and then finally i put it out in the first week of december i think it's december 6th and then um yeah from then on we were rolling all right so with that out the way let's check out the first ever video on this channel. Me declaring my transition into a front-end developer role. If you guys see cat hair on this, I'm sorry, I have a bunch of cat. All right, here it is, guys, my first video. Let's check it out. Hey, guys, let's face it. 2020 has been a wild year, absolutely wild. We've had ups. Have we had any ups, actually? All right, guys, <laughs> bear with me. That was my attempt at a joke, guys. That was my attempt at a joke. It was pretty good. Let's give, let's be honest here. It's my first video. Let's give that like a solid, uh, let's go like a four out of 10, all right? Four out of 10, at, at, at least, at least. Six out of 10 at best. No, no, I think it's just been all downs. It's been all downs. Let's just call it a year of change, all right? Well, right down the middle, change. And recently, I found myself needing a change of careers. Oof! Oof! It's my first video, guys. Cut me some slack, all right? Cut me some slack, guys. For, for all 588 of you guys that watch this, in all 47... Oh, wait, let's fix that. All 48 of us that have liked this video, we're the real ones. Let's, let's be real here. We're the real ones. Shout out to us. Shout out to y'all. We in here. How lucky. My hours at my current job have been cut, like, bad. Like, I've gone from working 35 hours to working probably like 20, 25. So by 10 hours a week, it's a lot. Still true, hours are still cut, as a matter of fact. I uh, got some of those hours back, but never got the full hours back. So, past Michael had a, val a very valid reason here for a wanting to transition. It's a lot. And you know, I got a raise in an attempt to compensate for it, but I'm still making like $700 less a month than I normally Still true, still true. Normally it would be. And that matters to me, damn it. $700 might not be a lot to you, but God damn, that's a lot of money to me. <laughs> also still very true, guys, very true. I'd rather have 700 than not have 700. Now I'm saying. And sure, I have savings tucked away, and I'm still making enough to cover my expenses, but that's it. There's no growth outside of that. Like, I'm, I am legitimately stagnating. I've tried to put... I was stagnating, boys. I was, like, at complete stagna stagnation. There is... If you were to look up stagnation... Is that a word? If you were to look up stagnating in the dictionary, I was totally stagnating put my bachelor's degree in business administration to work and find a place of reliable employment but my skill set is so generalized that it's hard to find something especially something that I actually want to do right and you can only tolerate doing admin work so much I don't know about you guys but I still hate admin work luckily coding has given me a different a completely different outlook on the like the importance of a skill set Past Michael was right on the money. I didn't have any real skills. Now, from just learning JavaScript, HTML, CSS, man, I feel like I can actually do something. You know what I mean? It's pretty cool, but we'll keep going. I fucking hate answering phones and just doing administrative work in general now. It's just so 
it's just so mind numbing. It's just so mind numbing, you know. Once you hit, I hit 30. It was 30 for me. Actually, I hit like 28. I just had to stop. It was too much. But here's the deal. From this day onward, I'm going to be pursuing a job as a web developer. As crazy as it sounds, I have zero experience in coding, all right? Big goose egg there. Zero was very true. Experience in coding. And I'm terrible at math. Like in high school, instead of taking pre-cal, I was one of those kids that took that, that math model class. That was me. All right, so uh, still terrible at math, but um, you know, I really don't use a lot of math. Um, the front end developer role at least, not very math heavy. Now I know there's math related in the back end stuff. There, there are areas where math is needed, but as far as like front end development goes, I haven't used very much math, if any, to be honest. Mm, I'm not the most, I don't want to say not smart, but you know, inclined. We'll go with that. But I spent the last two weeks, I was too hard on myself back then. I'm a genius, guys. Let's be real here. Past Michael didn't know what he was talking about. You missed me with that bullshit. Two weeks playing around with uh, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript and doing a lot of research on the field. A lot of research into like, you know, what goes into being a, a front-end web dev, the uh, code you should use, the languages, you know, and I have... So I'm, I'm gonna pause right here and tell you guys a story about my research, okay? It's story time, story time with Michael. So at my job, I'm a martial arts instructor, okay? And we have an after-school program. So let me move the mic over here so you guys can hear me. Now, for our after-school program, we have to take the vans and go pick the kids up from their school and then bring them back to our school. Now, there was like five vans that we had and only one van had an auxiliary port, but it was literally the shittiest van. Like it had like a messed up seat. You set lopsided it like uh, the windows would get stuck up or down. The AC took a while to hit on like everything about that van was shit, but it had an auxiliary port. So what I did was I claimed that van is mine and every day I had to drive that van like from October till the, till when their school year ended, till May. Every day I had to drive that van, I would listen to either podcasts about coding, I'd listen to YouTube videos about coding, and just different aspects of it, you know? Listening to people's different stories, people's different experiences, advice about finding a career, like just nonstop coding content was what I'd listen to. So all those little kids in my van, they all knew I was like really into coding. <laughs> and they'd start asking me questions and get curious, and I'd like, uh, I'd show them little things in their laptops. But yeah, that was mainly how I did my research. Found some generalized answers. I'll probably be making another video about that. But um, I just wanted to feel it out for the last few weeks. And I also never made that video. Just try to plan out something good, right? Try to plan out my course of action and see the direction that I wanted to go. Which is awesome because as it turns out, I really enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun, a lot of fun making stupid little things, making little buttons clickable on websites and just fucking around. It was a lot of fun. Still have a lot of fun with all that stuff, believe it or not. I really enjoy doing that. Fun. So as it stands now, with the limited knowledge that I have about the whole field, the field as a whole, my goal is to transition to a front-end web dev job within six months. Not within six months, at the six-month mark. Who six months, almost to the day from when I posted this video, I became a web developer. Am I, am I psychic or what? I mean, let's count here. We got January 6th, February 6th, March 6th, April 6th, May 6th, June 6th. We're not at July 6th yet, so I still most definitely hit the six month mark from this video at least. So uh, you guys can call me a psychic too. I called my shot. That's kind of my goal. So within six months, at the end of six months, I want to be able to transition over into a web dev job. A Nailed it. Front end web dev job. And uh, I'm going to be self-taught, all self-taught. No boot camps, uh, no schools, obviously, books, YouTube. I'm probably going to use Team Treehouse. I'll get into that in another. All right, so I stayed self-taught. I stayed self-taught, but I did not use Team Treehouse. I actually ended up using the Odin Project. Uh, some of you guys may know, it's like my most viewed videos on the channel. Uh, if you guys are interested in web development, where to start, start with the Odin Project. That's my honest recommendation. 
uh, do that. It'll save you a lot of time and a lot of hassle. Another video. It also costs nothing. And like Udemy, but that's another video. Um, but yeah, all self-taught. As far as Udemy goes, I did like one front-end Udemy course, which I really didn't learn a lot from. And then a, um, I dabbled in PHP for like a week. Eh. I considered going to school. I even threw an application out to a uh, state college. And the longer I've set on that idea, like I threw it out probably two weeks ago when I first started like going through this, this, this thought process. And the longer I've set on it, dude, the longer, the more it's soured. Like I'm not even interested in that anymore. I'd so the college accepted me. They wanted me. They wanted my veteran money. Um, by this point, I was so far into the Odin project, I didn't see the use. I didn't want to have to do basic courses. Like they sent me the thing to um, to pick my classes, and I had to do like these uh, prerequisite classes, even though I already had a degree in business. And I wasn't about that life. I, I don't. I'm too old. I'm 30 now. I'm too old to be in a Still fucking old. classroom full of kids, racking up debt. And, uh, you know, just wasting time when I could be using the time to get the skills that I really need. So I think at this point I'm going to pass on school and just stick with self-taught, right? But yeah, so this guy gets it. I'm going to be documenting the journey here on this YouTube page. It should be pretty dope. I've got a lot of things planned. Um, and yeah, I'm looking forward to what's to come. I'm going to be dropping another video soon about my plan, my goals, and my process. You know, how many hours I'm putting into a week, what I'm actually working in, the languages I'm working on right now, any projects that I'm doing. I don't think I ever made that video either. Like, I think that concept turned into, like, my monthly update series. But I don't think I made that video. I got kind of a general, like, starting sauce, I guess we'll call it, soup that I'm gonna like kind of cook through and process. But yeah, so that's where we're at right now. I'm Michael White, and I'm just trying to get right, y'all. <clears throat> Subscribe to follow the journey. Give me a thumbs up to show some love. Oh man, I am so grateful to uh, all 352 of my subscribers that stuck with me after this video, after those last couple seconds. Let's, before I say anything else, let's just see how I finished it. I want to see how I finished the video off. I'm going to go back a couple seconds. I'm going to watch the whole ending sequence in one go. I don't want to be too hard on myself, but let's see. Let's see. Let's give it uh, from, from, from 48 on. Subscribe to follow the journey. Give me a thumbs up to show some love. And y'all, stay up. Oh. oh, my God. My God. All right, so I still do the hand thing. So, but let's be real, that's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, it was pretty cool to go back and look at my first video. In hindsight, it's really cool that I was able to call my shot like six months from the day I posted this video and then me actually getting the front-end developer job six months later. And there's no guarantee that anybody's going to get that in six months, guys. I don't want you guys to think that just because I did it in technically nine months, but six months from that video that you guys build it the same way, it's hard. It takes a lot of effort. You gotta grind, you gotta ignore people. Um, <laughs> it's it's gonna be hard, man. You're gonna have some hard days. But um, yeah, it's totally worth it, guys. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap that one up here. If you guys haven't already, do go ahead and join the Discord. We're building a cool community there, people that code and are like-minded. A lot of us are just learning. So come grow along with us. Subscribe to support the channel. Thumbs up if you like what I do. And I'll see you guys in the next one, all right? I'm not going to fist bump the camera this time. I'm going to do something else. Uh, I couldn't think of anything else. Later, dudes.